Solve each trigonometric equation. In part A, we'll solve cos of 1 half theta equals 1 half graphically and non-graphically. We'll begin by solving this equation graphically. Draw the graph of y equals cos of 1 half theta. The period is 4 pi. The steps required to find the period are shown. Now draw the line y equals 1 half. The solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 4 pi is 2 pi over 3 and 10 pi over 3. How do we get 10 pi over 3? We know that each tick is spaced pi over 6 radians apart. This tick is a 20th tick, so we get 20 pi over 6, or 10 pi over 3 when we reduce the fraction. The first equation of the general solution is theta equals 2 pi over 3 plus n times 4 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. The second equation of the general solution is theta equals 10 pi over 3 plus n times 4 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Now we'll solve the equation non-graphically. Even though we're going to solve this equation algebraically, we should be thinking about the graph as we work so the algebra makes sense. In step 1, solve the more simple equation, cos theta equals 1 half. Take the inverse cosine of both sides of the equation to isolate theta. Bring up the unit circle. Cos theta equals 1 half when theta equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. We can see these solutions on the graph. In step 2, we can get the graph of y equals cos of 1 half theta with a horizontal stretch by a scale factor of 2. Stretch the graph horizontally by a scale factor of 2. We need to multiply both original angles by 2 since the width of the graph was doubled. Multiply the first angle, pi over 3, by 2 to get 2 pi over 3. Now multiply the second angle, 5 pi over 3, by 2 to get 10 pi over 3. The solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 4 pi is 2 pi over 3 and 10 pi over 3. In part b, we'll solve sine of 1 over 4 theta equals negative 1 graphically and non-graphically. We'll begin by solving this equation graphically. Graph y equals sine of 1 over 4 theta. The period is 8 pi. Now draw the line y equals negative 1. The solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 8 pi is 6 pi. The general solution is theta equals 6 pi plus n times 8 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Now we'll solve the equation non-graphically. Even though we're going to solve this equation algebraically, we should be thinking about the graph as we work so the algebra makes sense. In step 1, 
Solve the more simple equation, sine theta equals negative 1. Take the inverse sine of both sides of the equation to isolate theta. Bring up the unit circle. Sine theta equals negative 1 when theta equals 3 pi over 2. We can see the solution on the graph. In step 2, we can get the graph of y equals cos of 1 over 4 theta with a horizontal stretch by a scale factor of 4. Stretch the graph horizontally by a scale factor of 4. We need to multiply the original angle by 4 since the width of the graph was quadrupled. Multiply the original angle, 3 pi over 2, by 4. This gives us 12 pi over 2, which reduces to 6 pi. The solution for the domain where theta is between 0 and 8 pi is 6 pi.